Hi everyone, my name is Aaron, this is Plan Free. Here we are June 22nd, 2020. Lori and I have just come to the end of essentially three months isolation in Bali. We've decided it's time for us to return to Canada and so we're going to attempt flying home from Indonesia today. We've just yesterday got a rapid test for COVID which we tested non-reactive for. Thank goodness, so we're clear to attempt our journey. We bought these smiley face masks in hopes that it would lighten the mood of anyone we interacted with on what we thought would be a fairly serious travel environment. <laughs> if we had any idea how well received they would be by our fellow travelers and the airline personnel, probably would have bought a case of them so we could give them away. We'll try to take you through as much of the experience as we can, filming little bits here and there. It's going to be about a 30 hour journey. So we'll do the best we can to check in with you from time to time as we go throughout. In hopes that this helps some of you that are considering making a similar type of journey soon. And maybe some of you are curious what it's like for air travel in this current time. Well, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. The roads were basically empty once we got near the airport. And this is a theme that carries on to the actual airport, which was essentially empty, with the exception of the odd traveler alongside of us. The board uh, showing the flights out of Denpasar Airport were pretty much canceled or not operating across the board. Well, oh, here's the scene at the Valley Airport. Got checked in to this point. As you can see, it's pretty quiet. We did get asked for our rapid test two or three times, first at the entrance outside, then at the air, airline check-in, and then one more time at security. I'm gonna fly out of uh, Denpasar on to Jakarta. Denpasar to Jakarta, we flew CityLink Airlines, and it departed on time and was about 30% full. On arrival in Jakarta, we had about a nine hour layover, and so we decided to stay at the airport rather than go to a hotel and then a few hours later have to be back for our next flight. Jakarta Airport in the international check-in area was quite a bit busier than Denpasar Airport, but once we got to our departing terminal, it was essentially just the other travelers on our flight, so it was next to empty again. Early the next morning we boarded ANA flight Jakarta to Tokyo. It featured a mostly Japanese crew. They were eager to tell us that they liked the smiling masks, which was great. The flight was about 15 to 20 percent occupied. With many empty seats it was easy to sprawl across three seats and sneak in some Z's on the way to Tokyo. Lori was elated with the on-flight meal and drink service. A little second. Upon arriving at Narita Airport in Tokyo, it was basically empty besides the few of us connecting and the air travel staff. We had a very short turnaround of under an hour. It turns out though that there was nothing to be concerned about because this Air Canada flight was there literally for the few people connecting from Jakarta. There were about 15 of us on an airplane with a capacity of over 600. From a business perspective, this cannot make sense. We see it as the Canadian government and Air Canada doing us a favor. We thank all of you for that big time. It did make for one of the most pleasant nine hour flights, simple to get up and stretch your legs, empty row after row of four seats that you could lay across. So it was one movie, fall asleep and wake up in Vancouver. The international arrivals and customs sections of the Vancouver airport were basically empty. At this point we did have to fill out a quarantine plan form. The customs agent also asked us some questions about our state of quarantine plan at this time. The domestic departure section of the Vancouver airport was quite busy in comparison with several flights awaiting departure and many travelers lining up for them. This was easily the busiest, most crowded leg of our journey. Not surprisingly, this interprovincial flight was the most crowded at about 60% capacity. People were seated in the window and aisle seats, middle seats were left vacant. All in all, it was probably the smoothest trip from Indonesia to Canada that one could hope for, coupled with the most anxiety leading up to it, because there were so many question marks. Hopefully this will help comfort some of you facing a similar journey soon. We'll do our best to answer any questions you may have. Please place them in the comment section below this video. Now begin our 14-day government-mandated quarantine period, which we have chosen to pass in our motorhome. Maybe we'll do a video about this quarantine. Again, we hope this video helps you. My name is Air. This is Plan Free. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe. It helps out a lot. 
and it's free. Only takes a second. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now. There she is. Long time since you got drip over here? Yes, uh, yeah, seven months. Seven months. Seven months. Yep. Holy wow. smokes. Yeah, so it's nice to see it again, but. Whatever, you guys moved down there.